it's your host JD of this week's gaming news and guys let's get right into it straight away and guys first we want to talk about here is Red Dead Redemption 2 has finally been confirmed and they have finally released the trailer this Thursday it was released it was released the trailer looks sick it looks awesome and um, I'm really really excited for what I to see from them you know the trailer just showing off just look cool it looks cool but I'm excited to see what Rockstar does because there's a lot of things the story dude they I don't think the whole story is coming out because you know why the release date has not been totally confirmed but they have around it should be it's gonna be in 2017 sometime in fall so not so we're gonna be waiting almost the whole year for this game to come out. So let's not get all excited, even though I am. I'm really hyped for this game. It's gonna be. I haven't even played the first one. I've just seen people play it, and it looks awesome. I'm super excited. I'm really excited for this game. And oh my gosh, I'm really excited. So guys, the next topic is that um, if you guys have a PS3. That was that you've purchased in 2006, November 1st to April 1st, 2010. You can take it to your um local um game, your game shop where you can buy where you buy your games at your game store by you. And if you have this feature called Linux, like downloaded on it. I don't know what they're going to do to it. Like, they might take it. I don't know. You'd have to find them and call them. Call, call them, but... You need to, um... T you can tell them that... This had the NX in it. the Or Linux in it. And I don't know what they will do. But you could just ask them. Because, um... They... Because this, um, feature... People said it was false advertising... And they, um, people sued them, and, um, the lawsuit came through, so, yeah, and they had to take down the feature, but the people downloading it still had it, I guess, or something, or they had to take away the feature. So... Yeah, the feature was um taken away, let's say, and um the people downloading it because that feature was taken away. They said, "All right, this week they decided that we should pay them for that for us taking that away, so they're gonna give you five fifty five dollars, which is pretty it's a lot better than taking it in the GameStop because did they give you five bucks?" It's a lot better. <laughs> the top 10... Alright, guys, we're going to get in our top 10 most streamed games this week. Starting at number 10 is Dead by Daylight's Never Heard the Game. Which, but I've seen it. I've seen it, but I never... I don't have it. It looks pretty... It's a pretty good game. Cool game. Number 9 is Destiny, my favorite game. The heart... The game I heart the most. Destiny at number 9. And number 8 is Overwatch, guys. And first-person shooters in the top 10. Number 7... Battlefield, which of course, and number six, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, it's still standing, even with the beta being out, the beta does not count, I guess, saying betas do, are not real games, they are not officially released yet, so, okay, so, it's number six is Black Ops 3, even with the beta of them only having two days of, like, really with no Infinite Warfare, so, it's still in number six, it's still in the top ten, number five, Dota, Never heard of it. Number four, Counter Strike. Number three, Hearthstone. And let's get into our top two. The top two games of this week. Number two is World of Warcraft. Pretty good game. It deserves to be a number two, a PC game. And number one, League of Legends. Another PC game. The PC PC is taking over the world. I'm not lying. It's taking over the top ten. And 
Alright guys, let's get back into some news. Um, Destiny Halloween items have been leaked. They were leaked before the trailer came out for this year's Festival of Halloween. Now let's say, before I even saw the trailer, they look sick. Oh my gosh, they looked awesome. And then the trailer finally released, no one was like, oh, okay, well, we already know what the stuff is. And it's, and I'm kind of, it's like they have, and they do it like eight days before Halloween. What's the problem with that? You guys, you guys could have, why didn't you guys, um, wait a bit, you know? Huh? You guys could have waited a bit. You guys think so? So, it's like, why? So, you're releasing the trailer now? It would have been leaked if you didn't release it a bit early. So, that it's, it's, the, it's Bungie's fault. So, why, why Bungie? Why? In our, in our Infinite Warfare news, we have that the, a new person being in Infinite Warfare, Lewis Handel, he... Lewis Handel is being in the campaign. He is a famous racer. Never heard of him. I had to look this up. And he is going to be... We don't even know his part. We don't know Conor McGregor's part. Who, if you guys do not know who he is, you've been living under a rock your whole life. J JK. But, um... Seriously, though. He's being with Conor McGregor and Kit... Kit Harrington. I've been living under a rock. Because I do not watch Game of Thrones. So... Yeah, but he's being, again, we don't know these guys' parts, and, um, yeah, a bit weird, right? So, yeah. And, and for our final news, guys, we have that the new console NX has been, the trailer has been released. It has been confirmed as a handheld and a console. I, there's a lot of things I don't, like, we us people have been asking we don't not know there's a lot of things but i feel like they're trying to that um nintendo is trying to get back in the game so nintendo is definitely like when you get back in the game so i like that nintendo you know the console looked cool i'm not a big nintendo guy i had a wii a lot of people did and i don't think the wii u did not do as good as you would as i thought it did when it came out so yeah so yeah, I think I think it will do good. I do. It, there some new games were out that we showed in the trailer. Two of them I know is Legends of Zelda and a new Mario, which s looks sick. I'm really excited for it. I don't know how it's like gonna be. Is the handheld gonna be charged, or does it have a battery where it never dies, or is it, you know, it, does it have to be hooked up to the system, or is it like the like the 3DS, like where you have to charge it, or you can, or do you have to hook it up to the system to be charged? I do not know. There's a lot of things out there that I, we do not know as as us. And guys, real quick, guys, I just wanted to. Um, this is not sponsored, but uh, um, guys, go check out this app. I've been doing Android apps now. Um, this new app called Smile Inc. It's been released. It was released a few, like two days ago. Literally, it's a such a fun game made by the man Roman Atwood. He made this game. It's so much fun. I sat down on my couch for like 30 minutes just playing it. Just straight playing. And it's um, it's a, such a fun game. So, guys, go check that out. Link in the description for Google Play for that. To purchase that on Google Play. And, um, yeah. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button, guys. And I'm your host, JD. And I'm...